Okay, let's look at balancing the following chemical equation. Okay, remember, the first thing that we want to do when we're looking at these types of problems is we want to draw, draw a grid. We have a label one side reactant, the other side products. And we go through each of the atoms. So we have carbon. We have a total of six carbons on the reactant side. And on the product side, we only have one. So we have to have a common multiple that will give us six. So multiply this time six for the six here in front of the molecule. That will give us six carbons. So our carbons are equal. We got the next one. We have our hydrogens. We have a total of six hydrogens on the reactant side. On the product side, we only have two. So common between these here, three times two will give us a total of six. So I can put a three here. Three times two, that gives me six hydrogens. So my hydrogens are equal. Now I'll look at my oxygens. I have two oxygens here. But here I have 6 times 2 is 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have a total of 15 oxygens on this side. Okay, which means that I have to add a number here. So what you can do is you can go back and forth. Or I could put a 3 here, I could put a 7 here, whatever. And you will keep going back and forth. But the simple way is when you have a problem like this is just to see how many times will 2 go into 15 and the answer is 7.5. So if I take 7.5 and multiply it times 2, 7.5 multiply it times 2, that would give me a 15, which means I can put a 7.5 here, which would give me a total of 15 oxygens on both sides. But when you're doing this problem, you cannot have an integer 0.5 as a coefficient. So the entire thing has to be multiplied times 2 to give you a final equation. So you'll have 2C6H6 plus 15O2 goes to give you... 12 CO2 plus 6 H2O. H2O. Now, this should be equivalent. I have 12 hydrogens here. I have 12, I'm sorry, I have 12 carbons here. I have 12 carbons here. I have 12 hydrogens. I have 6 times 2 gives me 12 hydrogens. I have 30 oxygens. 15 times 2 is 30. 12 times 2 on the um, product side is 24. Plus 6 gives me a total of 30. The chemical equation is balanced.